All right, boys, good one for you today. We've got a 2017 Dodge Ram 1500. And the problem with this vehicle is we've got some lights, okay? You see down there? We've got the ABS lights on. And um, the reason is, is because this is actually the ABS module for this vehicle. It was in an accident, and that's what's remaining of the ABS module. So they replaced it with a used module. But we got some error codes due to that ABS module. Let's pull the codes, see what it is, and then we're going to go over the options for resetting that used module and adapting it to this vehicle. All right, guys, as you can see here by the codes, the ABS module is not online. I was called out to program the module, but it's not online, so we've got to diag that right. now. If you saw those errors, we've got a problem with the ABS module. It is not online. This was the original module. You can see the part number and all of that right here. Um, I'm actually going to pull this apart a little bit more and see if we can get to a possible memory chip on this board. Um, at this point, it's going to require additional diagnostics to find out why the ABS module is not on the line. We could be having a fuse issue since this happened, or it could be wiring issue. Customer told me there was no wiring issue. It was just a simple plug and play. It just broke uh, the plastic part, which could have triggered a, a fuse being blown. So we're going to get to that open this up and check out the floor plan we got here with this uh, ABS module hold on okay here's the board layout you can see the MCU here we've got one here BGA and we've got a EEPROM chip here and that is a 25LC 32AE all right and here's the layout. So most likely our um, all our vehicle data is going to be stored in this chip. So we would be able to back that up um, and restore it. But we've got um, also another way of getting this done, guys. Um, so here's the seal, as you can see how it is sealed. It looks like it's plastic, uh, possibly a plastic glue or something that because it's it's very brittle and you'll be able to access the EEPROM and seal it back up if you needed to. And by the way, guys, to access uh, 2018 and up Dodge Jeep Chrysler, uh, we use the Ultimate CAN Bus Tester. If you don't know about this, definitely check out the link in the description. Head over to our website, globalcommerceca.com, and you can pick this up. We have directly on here the SWG bypass connector. So you would just pretty much open down in the panel right there and just plug this in. Your scanner plugs into the end here, and you're good to go. You bypass the uh, security. Okay, here is the diagram for the ABS module. So let's check that out. Powers and grounds and communication. You saw the diagram. Um here are the three fuses for this, 76, um, 6, and 26. So that would be 76 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This one, this 10 amp, 76, and 26 would be this pink, 30 amp, and then this 40 amp. And they look all good. So we're going to check the grounds next. That is where the ABS module is located and put on. And you can see it right there. But we're going to test directly at the module as well. Checking the can lines. Uh, that's one of them. Cuanto marca? Okay. Ponlo en el otro. That looks like can high right there. And we can actually test this with the CAN bus tester, so let's go ahead and do that. Also checking the power and currents at the actual connector because being that this was an accident like this, sometimes there's some damage internally in the wiring and you can't see it. So we're testing it directly. So far, all everything, the two grounds are good and the powers are good and we saw the CAN high and low. So uh, looks like it might be the replacement module they actually put is bad. All right, we're using the Ultimate CAN bus tester to go ahead and test the data lines. And as you can see, we already plugged up. Um, we tapped into the front of the connector. We've got a ground right there, as you can see, uh, so that we'll get accurate readings. And so far, the CAN high and low signals look pretty good. Um, I'm going to uh, now, my scanner's connected up here, and so I'm going to now attempt to connect to the network if I can. And we've already tested all the powers and ground. That tells us that the problem is going to be the ABS module. 
All right, guys. And now with my scanner connected to the Ultimate CAN bus tester, I got communication to the engine computer right here from under the truck, guys. So that tells me the CAN lines are good. You got to keep in mind, I've seen CAN lines that look good. They, uh, the numbers look good. But when you actually try to transmit data, there's a fault on the line that you can't see by just the numbers. So that's why doing this test 100% confirms it. Uh, we got good communication as uh, the reading shown here as well. So I'm gonna call this as a bad module. The use module they put is bad. There's new communication with this module. We've tested the powers and grounds directly at the connector and our data lines we connected and I can actually communicate with the engine computer from right here through my scanner. So that's the advantage of the can ultimate CAN bus tester. Guys, you get to actually test and see exactly what's going on because you can go anywhere in the vehicle as you can see, we're in, under the engine bay. So um, we're gonna probably continue on this video part two if the customer decides to replace that module. But for now, click that thumbs up button, like and subscribe and see you on the next one. A little bonus footage for you boys. Yo, you guys that stuck around to the end, this is actually where the EEPROM is located. So instead of removing the whole plate, you could Dremel this portion off right here open a little slot and it's pretty much directly under that that hole there and you can get to the EEPROM and clone these modules so if you didn't know this now you know like I always say no one is at the battle boys